How you doing ladies and gentlemen, Lasona here, and today we're going to take a little look at The Division. I wanted to go through a bunch of the things that I kind of saw while playing the beta this morning. So this here is the character select screen. There's a lot of information here, a lot of information you wouldn't really expect. So first of all, you've got your character on your right. That 07 at the top, that's my level. It also has my current skill set, my current location, and my time played. So that's all right there, right in front of you. On the right hand side, it's showing you my primary weapon, my secondary weapon, and my sidearm. On the left hand side, you've got continue game, the news feed, options, and then two things that are not available in beta. Now we're going to jump right on into the gameplay. So let's talk about the combat here for a second. Here I am in the first mission, I actually joined a match made game, so I have two other people with me, and I'd like to talk about how the difficulty scales. I played through this mission originally by myself, and I did not find it that difficult. However, with the more people that are in your squad, the more difficult the enemies become. Not only an increased health and higher damage weapons, but there's more of them. By the end of this scenario, we were facing a huge number of enemies on screen at once. Combat overall felt light and snappy. Now I did have some trouble aiming, that could just be that I haven't fiddled with the sensitivity as much, but there is a separate sensitivity for both camera and aiming, which is a great addition. When you're not killing virtual opponents with your friends, there's actually some side missions you can do. And I actually found one where you activate two viral scanners and then fight through some enemies in order to upload the data. There are other ones such as rescue the hostage, and eliminate the target, but this one I actually found to be the most fun, mostly because it's timed. Your appearance seems to work differently than it does in other games, such as Destiny, in that your appearance and the clothing you wear has absolutely no effect on your stats. I think this is great. It really allows you to customize a character without sacrificing, say, DPS for health, or vice versa. And now we come to the guts and glory of the division. If you watch me look through this menu, there is literally a stat for everything. This looks like a deep and complicated RPG in which synergistic builds and the items you wear, along with the guns you use and the skills you equip, all work together in order to give you the most unique and best possible character that you, the player, can create. This is beyond what I expected for this game. I expected, oh, this gun does more damage to elites, and oh, this gun has a higher chance to stagger. But that's not it at all. There is so much here that when we get the full game, customization will be almost incredible. And the last, but certainly not least, thing that I want to cover is the fact about how customizable these weapons are. Each weapon has a predetermined number of mod slots, now whether that be a magazine mod, or a barrel mod, or a scope mod, and only certain weapons can fit certain size mods. For example, you can't put a full size assault rifle suppressor on a pistol, but when you do find a small enough suppressor, you can place that on that pistol and it will now be silenced. In fact, these don't just don't make your weapons silent or make your weapons be able to zoom in more. They grant stat bonuses, such as uh, minus 2% to threat, or plus 5% headshot, or crit percentage. It's all based on building the build that you as the player want to play with. And I think that, combined with the amount of skills that are available in the game, really is what makes the division unique. You have Destiny where, sure, you can, you know, put on a build where you punch with greater fire or it restarts your grenade cooldown, but the division looks much more in depth than that. And barring the fact that, you know, we haven't seen any of the end game things or any of just how much content will be in the game, I think this is a great base from which to expand and build this RPG. I'm glad you guys stuck around, watched this video. Leave me a comment, a like, or even a subscribe if you liked it. I'm going to be putting out more Division content. In fact, I'm probably going to do a Dark Zone video probably tomorrow. So, you know, just have a great time with this. If you guys can't play it, watch videos on it. Because I think if you like Destiny, and if you like first-person shooters, and also even if you like RPGs, you might really like The Division. Thanks, guys. Have a good weekend. Lasona out.